Welcome to another edition of the Godless Saint Theist presenting the Godless Truth. We don't need taxes to pay for our state or federal governments. Details. We can eliminate all taxes on all people in the United States of America. No taxes, no sales tax, no federal tax, no state tax. It's really easy and it eliminates taxes altogether while funding our secular elected representative government. How do we do this, you ask? Currently, the Federal Reserve Bank is neither federal or a reserve. If we take this private bank and have Congress do away with the private Federal Reserve Bank. Central Bank. And establish the Central Bank of the USA. This bank makes out loans and charges very little interest, but it does charge interest. Since this bank would be owned by you and me, the U.S. government, then you take those funds, the interest collected on the loans, and you use that to fund the government. There's enough money being generated in business loans, personal loans, consumer loans, to fund the government. And when the economy does well, and the loans are being made, and the loans are being paid, we can fund the U.S. government without taxes. Back in the day, the day of our ancestors, way back in 1776 and onward, our government issued colonial script. What was colonial script? It was money loaned by the government to we the people, charged interest. The interest on the loans went to fund the government. Why did this change? Because Greedy, puppeteer, politicians, and bankers got together and formed a union to screw you and me, the U.S. taxpayer, the U.S. citizen. The government throws up its hands and blames the bankers. The bankers throw up their hands and they blame the government. It's a three-card Monty. You can't never find the shell, the P under the shell. You can't pick the shell with the P under it in the three-card Monty. The bankers blame the government government blames the bankers. It's a division so they can avoid responsibility. The fact of it is when our government the 
United States of America was founded, our government issued colonial script and you and charged interest. They issued colonial script in the form of loans. When business needed more money, the government issued more colonial script for loans. When the economy contracted, the government let those old colonial scripts not be replaced, and the money supply shrunk, and only ex expanded the money supply when the econo economy was expanding. When the economy was contracting, the government allowed the colonial script to, to not be replaced. The older bills would get destroyed and not replaced and as the economy contracted so did the money supply and this meant boom times for you and me and for the wealthy the rich the business established business the entrepreneur the farmer everyone benefited and then the scam of 1913 happened where Private interest took over our banking system. Do you know that the Federal Reserve note that you have in your pocket is a private note? It's not the U.S. dollar. It's a private note. It doesn't say U.S. dollar on it. It says Federal Reserve note. Could you get rich if you made money, if you made interest on every dollar in circulation? You could be filthy rich if the government would let you issue the money. You wouldn't even have to buy into business or start your own business. Just collecting the interest on U.S. Uh, supposed U.S. money, which are really your private notes, you'd make a fortune. You'd be so filthy rich, you'd have more money than you, your family a thousand generations from now could spend and that's what has happened Congress avoids blame by blaming the private Federal Reserve Central Bank the Central Bank blames the government and nobody is held accountable Bernanke has been appointed after he crashed the economy in 2008 he was reappointed. Talk about CEOs getting raises and multi-billion dollar pensions and multi-billion dollar golden parachutes and multi-billion dollar bonuses. Bernanke, Bernanke helped destroy the whole economy and they put him back in charge. He's got the answer, doesn't he? I mean, that's why he caused two thousand, helped cause 2008, because he's got the answer. What else is the reason for not joining and giving Congress back the power to issue colonial script? Well, if the economy was run running badly, you would have the power to vote those sons of bitches out, right? You don't have any power to say who heads this private federal reserve bank, which is neither federal nor a reserve. To give you an example of what I'm talking about, Federal Express is a private company. It's not owned by the federal government. It's not owned by you and me. But it has federal in its name. It's Federal Express. And so it is with the Federal Reserve Bank. They have no money in reserve, and they're not part of the federal government. It's time we gave back Congress the power to issue colonial script. It's time we demanded Congress take back their responsibility for issuing money. 
It's time. It's overdue. Why has it happened? Because the superstitious Christian dominionists have an agenda to destroy our secular elected representative government and replace it with a king, the king of the world, Jesus. They're going to claim the man that's been dead for 2,000, 12 years has risen from the grave. And it's now your king. Who's going to declare this man Jesus? The church. Who's going to declare him king? King of the world? The church. The superstitious church of Christianity. And their Christian representatives in government, mostly in the right wing, but with Obama's help, seeking to destroy our secular elected representative government. And those of us who are in the closet, cowering, conforming, and complying, getting along to go along, and going along to get along, We are the problem. Uh, that's why I'm out of the closet. I'm a secular, egalitarian, anti-theist, liberal. Equality for all. Social Security for all. Medicare for all. Medicaid for all. Don't be fooled again. Thank you for joining in this netcast of the godless anti-theist. And I do encourage you to be careful. But one way to be careful is to come out of the closet and declare your support and protection of our secular egalitarian elected representative government and we need to demand that our government our secular elected representative government once again take back their constitutional responsibility to issue money to do away with taxes and fund our government with loans from the government issued US dollar formerly known as colonial script just a side note if you would like to learn more about colonial script Google G -g -g Google is Google right you can Google it you can prove it by Googling Take care. This has been another episode of The Godless Antitheist, presenting the godless truth by the godless antitheist.